You must have come across some news that NASA is up to a very big mission that could very much affect the future of our planet Earth. Yes, you got it, we are talking about the DART mission. To get a brief view, DART is NASA's first planetary defense mission. It is a spacecraft designed to impact an asteroid as a test of technology. But don't worry, DART's target asteroid is not a threat to Earth. This asteroid system is a perfect testing ground to see if intentionally crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid is an effective way to change its course, should an Earth-threatening asteroid be discovered in the future. Heavy, isn't it? I know there must be so many questions that would be popping inside your head related to the mission. Like, what is this? Why do we need this? And what is a planetary defense system? And many more. We will answer all that in this video and also show you the images NASA sent of its spacecraft smashing an asteroid from 2 million miles away. So tight up your seatbelts because we are about to enter into a very amazing as well as thrilling concept of mysterious world space. Welcome back to the channel. As we all know, the space, the world itself is full of mysteries. As thrilling and exciting as it sounds, you can't deny the fact that it is also filled with some deadly stories. One such deadly story is about the mass destruction of dinosaurs. I bet most people are aware of the large near-Earth object that devastated the entire planet 65 million years ago. Earth has suffered a number of asteroid impacts in its 4 billion history, but maybe none as devastating as the one which wiped out the dinosaurs. The city-sized asteroid that hit Earth 66 million years ago and doomed the dinosaurs to extinction came from the northeast at a steep angle, maximizing the amount of climate-changing gases unleashed into the atmosphere. While rare, these kind of impacts are still possible, and we should be ready for the worst to come. Why? Because if something like this happens, an impact on or over a densely populated city could cause millions of deaths. Any major impact would lead to widespread damage, injury and death, and would create unparalleled humanitarian and refugee crises around the world. So what can be done to arm ourselves and combat ourselves from such threats? Good news, efforts are being taken. The effort to prevent asteroid or comet impacts is called planetary defense. Groups of space engineers and scientists are setting out to test their theories for real planetary defense. When you first hear the words, planetary defense, you might think of a sci-fi movie with spaceships ready to defend Earth from aliens, and maybe some Earthlings in spacesuits holding laser guns. Well, this is not the case here. Planetary defense is slightly more down to Earth, so to speak. It does involve defending Earth, but it does not involve aliens or any sort of attack. Planetary defense entails detecting, monitoring, understanding, and mitigating near-Earth objects, also known as NEOs. They are small objects in our solar system like asteroids and comets that come close to Earth. Whether or not an object is classified as a NEO depends on its orbit, size and composition. NEOs do hit Earth, it is a real risk. And here comes the mission DART into the picture. American space agency NASA, in a unique mission, is testing its first planetary defense test mission that will allow a spacecraft to crash into the target asteroid deliberately and force it to change its course. The mission, which has been named Double Asteroid Redirection Test DART, will be launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on November 24th. The mission, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, left Earth to test whether slamming a spacecraft into an asteroid can nudge it into a different trajectory. Results from the test, if successful, will come in handy if NASA and other space agencies ever need to deflect an asteroid to save Earth and avert a catastrophic impact. Curious to know which asteroid is being targeted by the DART mission? A moonlet called Dimorphos, which is 160 meters in diameter, will be made to collide with the spacecraft. While it is hovering at a distance of about 11 million kilometers from Earth, Dimorphos poses no threat to Earth, and the mission is essentially target practice. When the binary asteroids are at their closest point to Earth, roughly 6.8 million miles away, how will NASA know if DART succeeded? Telescopes on Earth will fix their lenses on the crash site showing the two asteroids as tiny dots of reflected sunlight to measure whether DART's impact changed Dimorphos' orbit around Didymus. Astronomers will track the time between one flicker of light, which indicates that Dimorphos has passed in front of Didymus, and another which indicates that Dimorphos has orbited behind Didymus. If Dimorphos' orbit around Didymus is extended by at least 73 seconds, DART will have successfully performed its mission but mission managers expect the impact to lengthen the asteroid's orbit even more, by about 10 and 20 minutes. And the best part is, 
with Dart's eye open, we can look forward to more space snaps from the Brave mission. So here comes the part for which we all space enthusiasts are waiting for. The spacecraft, designed to crash into an asteroid 11 million miles from Earth, has sent back its first photo from outer space. The spacecraft opened its eye two weeks after blasting off from a base in California back in November and we can now get a glimpse of its trip. Taken some 2 million miles from Earth, the slightly grainy shot was made possible using the Draco telescopic camera on board. DART opened the camera cover on December 7th and, much to the delight of the scientists, concerned about the camera getting jostled during launch, the camera worked just fine. Taken about 2 million miles, 11 light seconds from Earth, very close, astronomically speaking, the image shows about a dozen stars, crystal clear and sharp against the black backdrop of space, near where the constellations Perseus, Aries and Taurus intersect, NASA said. The December 7 image isn't flashy, but it has lots of meaning for the mission. It's helped the DART team orient the spacecraft and camera to capture interesting views. That's good preparation for when DART reaches the asteroid Didymos and its moonlet Dimorphos. NASA shared another DART image from December 10th that shows a set of stars in Messier 38, known as M38 or the Starfish Cluster. But DART isn't due to reach its final destination until September 2022 so we can expect more photos to come during its long journey. Should the mission prove successful, it could pave the way for a new planetary defense system that can deflect incoming space rocks before impact. The scheme mirrors the plot of Hollywood mega-hit Armageddon, in which NASA flies a spacecraft to an asteroid to stop it hitting Earth. DART is flying towards the binary near-Earth asteroid Didymos, which is about 740 meters (2,427 feet) across and sits between the orbits of Earth and Mars. But that's not strictly the focus of the mission. Instead, NASA's intrepid battering ram will set its sight on a smaller asteroid, or moonlet, orbiting Didymos closely. DART will smash into the space rock at 15,000 miles per hour in an attempt to change its orbital trajectory around its host. After DART crashes into its target, NASA and the SA telescopes on Earth will pour over it to check whether the scheme has worked. Space experts have already identified at least 26,000 so-called near-Earth objects, an estimated 4,700 meet NASA's classification as potentially hazardous objects. Now all we can do is wait and hope for the best. We don't know what the future might have for us, but all we know is, time has all answers. As Barbie explains, when you've got a couple decades worth of warning time, the kinetic impactor can be quite sufficient to get the job done. The more warning time Earthlings have, the better the situation will turn out for us, and that's all we want. This was it for today, see you soon in our next video. Until then, peace.